in the room. There's power in the room. There's a chair here, chair there. There's four. Y'all need to come in. Yeah. Awesome. Well, it is. I didn't know I was going to be here today, but some of your nosy teammates all up in my life, the ones that's laughing the hardest, they wouldn't let me go to sleep, so it made me come here today. So give it up for your teammates. Do we have anybody in the room that walk in office? You get offended when you're being corrected. Anybody in the room? Anybody like that? Because we want to allow those folks to leave. Uh, we don't have any of those? I didn't think so under the leadership that you guys had, Amen. the great Tyrone and Carolyn Taylor. Yeah. I didn't think we had any of that. But every now and then, somebody <laughs> sneak in the room. So just in case we have any of that, I want to make sure I'm obedient to allow that individual to leave. Now, everybody close their eyes. <laughs> and say, you know what I'm saying? Is there one? Can I get one? <laughs> no, no? Okay, open your eyes. No, everybody's strong over here. So you're not going to be upset with me after I say what I have to say. Oh, no. Because oh, whenever you ask to speak to folks, people, you have to be very careful. I'm honored that your leadership, give it up for your leadership. <laughs> I do. Mm -hmm. And so I don't think just because they're RVP, I suppose to agree with them. Right. Mm -hmm. But your leadership, I agree with. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you, I agree with him so much that when he called, all I say is, Amen. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to say Amen. <laughs> but the first time he asked me to speak, he called me and said, Lisa M. Jones, I said, Yes, sir. He said, this is Tyrone Taylor, amen? I said, amen? <laughs> he said, we will schedule you to speak, amen? I said, amen? <laughs> we gonna send you a fax with all the information, amen? I said, amen? <laughs> he said, have a good day, amen? I said, amen? <laughs> I hung up the phone, and I said, I don't know what just happened. <laughs> I don't know when I'm speaking, where I'm speaking. All I know is I better look up the definition of amen. <laughs> and I looked it up and I said, man, he's a genius. <laughs> he gets you to agree. <laughs> and you don't even know you agree. <laughs> but I was just being obedient and somebody said amen. He said amen. I said amen. <laughs> and I received a you want to be here on this day, at this time, your flight, your hotel, everything was done, wow. took very good care of me, yeah. and if anything was going on at that time, it, it was going to be rescheduled because I said, amen. Yeah. <laughs> it's like when you submitted your IBA, you said, amen. amen. <laughs> and so if you say we have an emergency meeting at midnight, you can't question it because you already said, Jeremiah 20, 9, 11 says, for I know the plans I have for you. It is so amazing. I will read that all the time, but what I didn't catch was he was saying, I know the plans I have for you. He didn't say you know. Right? right. right. So my first yes was to him, but it wasn't to his plans. Right. Mm -hmm. See, your first yes is to Primerica, but it ain't for the walk that you gotta take in Primerica. Mm -hmm. 
that requires maturity. Mm -hmm. That's the second yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. See, my second yes is to his plan. Mm -hmm. My first yes was just to him. Mm -hmm. But I was like, but God, why can't I do this? Why can't I have two husbands? <laughs> I ain't say yes to that. I just said yes to you. I ain't say yes to your plan. So you said yes to primarily to, to the opportunity. You said yes to the money. Your first yes is very immature. You said yes to the money. You said yes to uh to the, the, the height. You said yes to the leadership because how can you not say yes? To Tyrone Taylor. Right. But you ain't say yes to the no shows. Mm. You ain't say yes to the cancellations. Mm. You didn't say yes to your family and friends that you have supported all your life. Mm. And in one moment, you asked them, Will yes. you allow me to sit down with you for 30 minutes to share with you what I do? They don't have no time. You didn't say yes to that. Mm. And the moment that thing hit you and start happening to you, all of a sudden you ain't heard from God for 40 years. But that, that, the moment folks start saying no to you, all of a sudden God told you not to do prime America. Uh -huh. He ain't tell you not to sleep out of wedlock. He ain't tell you not to see a married man or a married woman, but he told you. <laughs> Not to do problems. It's amazing we hear <laughs> when it's convenient. Yeah. My first yes was to freedom and what Primerica can do for me. My second yes is to the plans he had for my life here. You have to know a few things, guys. You have to know your gift. You have to know your purpose. And some of the reasons why some people aren't successful, they wonder how I've been here this long and I haven't achieved success. How is it that Mika Saunders could be here five years and hit 500,000? Mm -hmm. What is it, God, if you're not a respectable person, how is it that that's per possible? Mm -hmm. It's because she is chasing purpose and you are chasing a career. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And until you know your purpose, Right? Mm -hmm. My gift is speaking, but my purpose is to serve. Mm -hmm. And until you know your purpose, see, Primerica is a part, has joined in on my gift. I am not Primerica. Primerica is what I do. Mm -hmm. I am called to speak. To break strongholds, to break yokes, to convict people. I'm called to speak. I had to learn what my gift is. Some of us can't be successful because we don't know our identity. That's why people can still get you upset. How somebody make you mad? <laughs> How you offended and still holding grudges for something happened five years ago? Mm -hmm. Y'all want to break some strongholds so we can have a powerful 2020? Happy New Year's, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. We're in our new year right now. Yeah. Yeah. The fourth quarter starts my new year. Yeah. I've been saying Happy New Year to everybody. Mm -hmm. And because why? If you're going into 2020 and you want to play it for 2020 in January, you are already behind. Yeah. You want to have, when I leave, here. I want to make sure I do what God has sent me here because like Tyrone said, it's not by chance that I am here, that the service was on a Tuesday yeah. and that I am here. Amen. It's not by chance. So the thing is, is that it's a message that I'm supposed to bring to the house and I want to be obedient to what that is. Okay? So I want to know, I want to hear about some strongholds being broken and some people are being set free and that we're going to have the most amazing 2020. I am absolutely yes. fired up about who's claiming and Woo! Yes. 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 